right, how you doing today guys? Welcome back to another day of 7 Gray Math. Today we're gonna do a few questions of the DLI review. And this is gonna be six, 7.3a and b, which is just mostly adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing rational numbers. And it's gonna be between a mix of rational numbers so you can encounter, uh, you can expect to see whole numbers, decimals, mixed numbers, uh, repeating decimals, uh, fractions, and all that type of stuff, and do operations with them. So, without further ado, I'm not going to do all of them. I'm just going to do a few of them, hopefully the most that we can do. And for instance, right here is just number one. It says, number one, it says, a recipe calls for two and one quarter cups of flour to make a batch of cookies. How many batches can be made if we have... 15 and three quarters cups of flour. So we have more than we need to make one batch. So basically all we have to do in this one is divide. However, the problem here is that we have mixed numbers. Okay, mixed numbers. So there's two ways to you can do this. You can convert them to decimals because quarter is 0 0.25 and three quarters if we're talking about money is 75 cents so you can have 2.25 and 15.75 but i think it's easier or the other thing is to do the walk around texas convert those mixed numbers into uh improper fractions and then go ahead and divide doing keep change flip and that's the step that i'm gonna do because look at the whole the numbers that we have so if I do walk around Texas, or I, again, if you convert this, this is going to be 2.25, and this is 15.75. All you have to do is 15.75 divided by 2.25. That's one way. And the other way is the longer way. Now, this is easy because these are fractions that we already know that we know what those fractions means as a decimal so that's why that's hold on i'm gonna take this away so that's why that's one way to do it the other way is the longer way and it takes more time so you gotta identify those fractions can you convert them or not if not we're gonna do what we call walk around texas we're gonna multiply then add so four times two is eight plus one is nine the denominator is four same thing for the other one. Multiply, then add. 15 times 4 is 60, plus 3 is 63 over 4. So we're just going to go ahead and divide. And you notice we got the same denominator. So we're going to do 63 over 4 divided by 9 quarters. And then we have to do the keep, change, flip. So this will turn out to be 63 over 4 times 4 over 9. The bottom is going to be 36. And the top is going to be 30, uh, 63 times 4. Gives you 252. And then you can just do TiVo. Top and bottom out. 252 divided by 36. When you divide those, you get 7. So the answer must be B. Now, if you converted them, that's one way, the long way. If you converted this to a decimal, and you got this right here, if you divide, remember, 1, 2, 1, 2. You got to move the decimal, first of all. And if you do 15, 75, divided by 225 gives you 7 as well same answer would you rather work with decimals would you rather work with fractions it's up to you you can get to the same answer doing it different ways now let's try another one it says um, I said we were gonna do numbers let's see number five these are high level thinking because we have more than one operation going on. So we got to pay attention, stay on track. This one says the 70 students on the math team want to raise 400 
and sixty-two dollars. I mean, four hundred eighty-three dollars and sixty-two cents to buy practice books. They have already raised this much. Now, the question is: if each student raises the same amount, how much do they need to raise in order to come up with? this amount this is what we're looking for right there now there's two things that we know we know how much they want to raise and we already know that they have already raised some money so they don't need to raise this amount they need to raise the difference so first step is to find out how much money is still necessary and to do that all we gotta do is subtract minus 218 25 when you subtract you get uh, uh, 37 cents and this is gonna be five that's going to be six and two two hundred and sixty five point thirty seven That's how much money they still need to raise. Now, that this says right here, if each student raises the same amount, that's a keyword, each, that tells you that you need to divide, okay? So we gotta raise $265 with 37 cents, and we're gonna expect every student to raise the same amount. In this case, how many students we have? 17 so all we got to do is divide when we divide that by 17 and i'm not going to do the division because you sure already know how to do this and it's just going to make more time you get 15.61 so every student needs to raise 15 dollars and 61 cents which is a any questions about that one? anybody all right next one it says number six miss gutierrez bought two dozen cans of soda price at six dollars a can for 198 and 18 bottles of water priced at six bottles for two dollars and sixty cents what is the total amount that she spent not including taxes on soda and bottled water how much money did she spend total now this is a little tricky so one dozen means 12 Two dozens is going to be, we know that she bought two dozens, so this is actually going to be 24, right? Two dozen cans. Now, the tricky part right here says that uh, they're priced at six cans for 198. Six bottle, six cans of soda for 198. She bought 24 cans. So we need to do something right there before we know how much she spent for soda. And then something similar for the water. Because we know she spent, she got 18 bottles. But she, the price is six bottles for 216. So first of all, cans. 24. Now she's gonna pay a dollar ninety-eight for six of them. For six gold. So we gotta divide this by six in order to know how many six packs she got, right? When you divide that, you get four. Now, four six packs at a dollar ninety-eight per six, right? So all we gotta do is multiply four times a dollar 98 and we're gonna get the price for the cans so four times 1.98 gives me seven dollars and 92 cents and i can tell i might be able to tell that that's gonna be one of my answers down there if i scroll down see look see that's gonna be one of my answers however i'm not done because i just found how much you paying for the sodas now I gotta do something similar, but the bottles of water. Now for the bottles of water, is going to be something similar. 
She bought uh, 18 bottles, and every six bottles is 216. So, bought water, she bought 18 of them. So, divided by six, because that's what it says right here, equals three. Now, you can multiply that by how much is a six pack of water, which is $2.16. So, three times 2.16. She paid six forty-eight for the water, and look, this is an answer right there as well. Now the separate, so I can eliminate this and this to find the total that she spent for the two things. All I gotta do is add these two up. So six dollars and forty-eight cents plus seven dollars and ninety-two cents is gonna give me fourteen dollars. And 40 cents which is B so it's not hard it's just that you have to do a few different things before you can get to an actual answer again this is gonna be one of the answer choices we saw that that was C this is gonna be one of the answer choices but remember you are not done there something that you gotta know a dozen means 12 and if you have two dozens, then it's going to be 24, right? 12 times 2. How do I know I needed to divide? Because over here, the price for six cans. I have 24 cans. I have 24 cans. Divide that by six, and it's going to give me four of those six packs. Now, we might have time for one more. Let's see what we got. It says number seven. Mr. Gomez asks each of his study students to select their favorite radio station total of students this is going to be a part of our total question a third pick a so one third times 30 right can you just put a one over under it there's going to be 30 divided by 3 which is 10 10 like a one fifth times 30 this is the way you gotta do it it's gonna be 30 over 5 which is 6 right here and the rest of them choose station C okay so I know 10 and 6 did not like station C so to find my answer I gotta combine these two which is gonna give me 16 and then take them away from 30 right 30 minus 16 gives me 14 which is that now look this is right here this is right here do not stop just because you see one number after you did one operation that's not a smart thing to do okay do not stop just because you see a number after you did one operation you're not done you gotta find the remainder and maybe one more let's see Ernesto had two spools of wire. Each pool had 15 and 7 eighths yards of wire. He used three yards from each pool. How many yards of wire left on the spools? He had two times 15 and 7 eighths. So it's going to be like 31 something. 15 and 7 eighths times 2. 7 eighths as a decimal is 0.875 plus 15. If I multiply that times 2, I get 31.75 or 31 and 3 quarters. Okay? That's how much uh, yard I start at the beginning. Then he used 3 from each spool. So he used a total of six. So how much yard does he have left? Minus six is gonna be 25 and three quarters. So you just gotta look at the one that has 25 and three quarters. That is it for this one, guys. If you wanna support the channel, link down in the description. That's it for today, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.